good morning student in the last class we have started chapter number 14 statistic and we have started what are the three types of sentence tendency is there what is that mean mode and median and how to calculate the mean how to calculate the mode for grouped data and ungrouped data i have given formula as study and third one also is there for median that we will take it today in median group data what is the formula to calculate the median through group data in a group data m median equal to l plus of n upon 2 minus cf cumulative frequency upon the frequency into h that is the formula what are the terms are present l lower limit of the median class what is the median class when we are doing problem by explaining n upon 2 number of frequency upon 2 cumulative frequency cumulative frequency above the median class that is we have to take when you are doing problem by explain so frequency frequency of the median class h h is the class length okay this is for grouped data so in a grouped data what is the formula m plus m equal to l plus of n upon 2 minus cf upon f into h this is the calculation formula for median and median on graphical method also is there that we will take it in the last last after finishing the problems and all and in ungrouped data how to calculate the median that you are studying in ninth standard once again i'll be correct if there is odd observation is there that means 3 5 7 9 like that odd number of observations are there are it in ascending order or descending order increasing order or decreasing order then how to find the median of the data This is the formula. If it is a odd number, means median equal to the number of observation plus of one upon two. Number of observation plus of one upon two. It will give the nth observation. That particular observation. Suppose five observation is there. Five plus one upon two. Five plus one six. Six divided by three. Third. Third observation is your median. Okay. As per this formula, if it is a odd number, means Number of observation. Here is the number of observation you put. Suppose five means five plus one six. Six divided by two three. So third observation is your observation of the median answer for the median. Same thing if it is a odd observation. Odd observation means what? If it if it is even observation, what is that? If there is in two, four, six, eight, ten in even numbers, even number of observation is there. Then your formula will be like this. M equal to median equal to. n upon 2 observation plus n upon 2 plus of 1 observation upon 2 that means you are having suppose 10 observation you put 10 n is 10 n upon 2 5 so fifth observation you are take plus of n uh, 5 n upon n is 10 upon 2 5 5 plus 1 6 sixth observation what is your in your order what is the fifth observation what is the sixth observation add it and divide by 2 Okay, so what same method? When you are getting observation in ungrouped data, you are taking the data in ascending or descending order and find whether it is odd or even. If it is odd, means the middle term will be coming. Number of term plus one upon two. This formula you are you are getting means you will get that nth observation. And here, if it is an even number of observations are there in ungrouped data, are they in ascending or descending order? Then n number how many even numbers are there? Ten upon two, so here five, here six. So fifth observation, sixth observation, you have to take it from the order you have made, and we add it and divide by two, you will get the median value. Okay. So these are the final third one, final third one, median. How to find the median? What we have seen yesterday, what is mean? In ungrouped data, one formula we have seen. In grouped data, three formula we have seen. One direct method, one another one. Assumed mean method, another one step deviation method. Three method in mean we are then, and in more one direct. If it is ungrouped data, arrange the data in a descending order, ascending order, and which data is repeating maximum number of time, that is your more. And by formula method, I have given the formula in the last class. Now in the median third form of finding the average value, median it is given by this formula and the terms I have. What is this median class or modal class in the last class? What you are taking? That when we are doing the problem, I will explain you. Okay. So median formula method is this one. If it is a ungrouped data, means 
for all observation for even observation then what is the relation between all the three central tendency what is that median mode and mean it is given by a ratio like this 3 times of median equal to mode plus of 2 times of mean 3m equal to z plus of 2 times of x bar okay if you are writing in another form z equal to 3m 3 times of median minus 2 times of mean so this is the relationship between the three central tendency so based on all this formula one exercise by one exercise we will start doing it so first exercise what is given based on finding the calculating the mean value of the data given so in the exercise 14.1 what is the given some some students are doing survey about collecting number of plant in every house so what they are asking there are 20 houses are there they went to 20 houses and collected how many plants are having in that house what survey they are doing so what are the data they are given number of houses they are given that is our frequency sigma fi or n value both are same n number of observation or number of frequency will be equal to sigma fi or n then what is that the column is given number of plant number of houses so number of plant 0 to 2 plant they are having is only one house 2 to 4 plant two house 4 to 6 plants one house 6 to 8 plant five house 8 to 10 plant six houses ten to twelve plant two houses twelve to fourteen plants three houses there are totally sigma f i total number of houses is twenty so I am doing here all the numbers are very small number I am doing it in a direct method so finding the class mark of this x i value I am doing class mark is what this lower limit plus of upper limit divided by two that is called class mark so add this one divided by two you will get One. Add this one divided by two. Three, five, seven, nine, twelve, eleven, thirty. See, it is two two increasing. That two two increase will be a percent here. So x i class mark also we have done. Then what is our formula? F i x i formula we using direct method. Frequency into class mark. So frequency into class mark. What is two one one? Two into three six. One into five five. Five seven seven thirty five six nine fifty four two eleven twenty two three thirteen thirteen thirty nine then five the sigma f five x i column adding so I am getting one sixty two sigma f five x i is one sixty two so I am using direct formula therefore sigma x equal to x bar equal to sigma f five x i upon sigma f five sigma x i f five we know one sixty two Sigma f i equal to 20. Then divide 162 by 20, you will get 8.1 plant averagely they are planting in one house. So that method is applied. You see, the data is small quantity. Why you are applying this method? They are asking. So you have to give the answer because that method is applied. Since why data is a small quantity they are given. So this is your first problem. And in the later classes, we will continue the other problems. Okay. Thank you.